Drive Ignition. This is Actar's Reviews. From anime to figures and beyond. Another episode of Actar's Figure Reviews. Oh boy, as you can see, I have a huge undertaking today as I will be reviewing the Figma figure of the mega popular character Black Rock Shooter. Now, I won't be spending any time introducing Black Rock Shooter as we do really have a ton to cover in today's review. What's so appealing about Black Rock Shooter, as some might ask? Well, aside from her design, nothing much. To be dreadfully honest, I'm not that big of a BRS fan at all and have seriously considered not picking up the Figma figure as I cannot justify the purchase of a figure just for the designs. I know many people base their entire collections this way and that's perfectly fine, but my passion for figure collecting stems from my love of anime and when I get a figure of a character that I like, I can appreciate the significance of the figure even more. And I guess that's why I'm neither a terribly huge fan of the other super popular characters such as Drosser or any of the Vocaloids. But then recently, a 15 minute OVA was produced and included free of charge with various magazines. I saw it and found it sufficiently entertaining and seeing the dynamic relationship of Kagura, um, I mean, Mato and Yomi finally convinced me to get the figure. Not to mention the DVD is also packaged together with the Figma figure as can be seen by this silver sticker. Wasting no more time, let's just jump straight into the review. Starting off the box, it's the return of the square Figma box signifying a greater amount of accessories jam-packed inside. The design is pretty simple but effective, what with the signature BRS checkered pattern. Not to mention the entire box features a BRS black and blue color scheme. Interestingly enough, the name of BRS is done in this shiny silver, a first if I do believe for Figma figures and it really does look good, especially when juxtaposed with the black. Another interesting thing to note is that the product number is labelled SP0012, meaning to say that she is in a special category together with the PSP slash PS2 exclusive Figma figures. At the side of the box, we have a BRS striking a really dynamic pose, and at the back of the box, the usual collage of pictures featuring the figure in various poses and showing off the accessories that she comes with. And that's pretty much all I can say about the box itself, so let's open it up and take a look at the contents inside. Huh. Okay. Ah. And here is Figma Black Rock Shooter in her plastic packaging with the accessories laid out very very neatly around the figure itself. Here's the DVD that was just slotted into the package behind the plastic packaging. We'll take a look at this later on. And just like the Figma figures before her, Black Rock Shooter comes with a cardboard punch out in the cardboard packing that will allow you to decorate your D-stage and give it a little bit more Black Rock Shooter flavour. So here is Figma Black Rock Shooter that so many have been waiting to get their hands on. As Figma figures go, I really have to admit that GSC has outdone themselves with Black Rock Shooter. She does look phenomenal in terms of accuracy, details and sculpts and they simply nailed the look of a thin girl wearing a jacket cape thingy and all her joints really blend in superbly with the figure. Points to note regarding details are things like the flawless paint apps and the minute details like the zips on her boots, scars on her body and straps all executed flawlessly. Sculpting in the hair is pretty nice as well and did I mention how much I love this glossy finish? Articulation wise, she doesn't disappoint either. Her head can move forwards and backwards and side to side. Her hair strands are individually articulated. They can move forwards and backwards and rotate side to side. So you can have them blowing in the wind, so on and so forth. Her arms can move forwards and backwards and in and out. They can rotate at the shoulder. Her elbows can move forwards and backwards and her hands do rotate at the wrist and move forwards and backwards at the wrist itself. 
She did have a couple of waist joints, one at her chest, so I say, I suppose this is a chest joint that can uh, move forwards and backwards and also rotate side to side slightly, though that doesn't really seem to go very far. She does have a lower waist joint as well, just above her belt that can move forwards and backwards and can rotate side to side to a certain extent as well. And once again, do take note of the really, really lovely uh, leg joints and the, how the illusion of her pants is kept regardless of how her legs are posed. They can move forwards and backwards and side to side. I do believe they can rotate slightly as well. Yes, they can rotate side to side. Her knees can move forwards and backwards. They can also move side to side slightly to a certain extent. Though I don't really think that that's meant to be a joint. And as for her feet, they can move forwards and backwards. They can swivel side to side and rotate side to side as well. Her cape also features two points of articulation, so you can have them move in and out and move forwards and backwards to once again have them blowing in the wind or to have them appear more dynamic when she's in an action pose. But of course, a good figure isn't complete without accessories. Rest assured, they are brilliant as well. Basics include the three-jointed stand, the base, the ziplock bag, and a whole rack of exchangeable hands. As for the BRS specifics, first off, I'll say that it's admirable that GSC didn't go for a double dip like they did with the completed PVC version and provided both her sword and cannon. Here they are. Let's start off with her cannon and whoa, the cannon is one BFG. I'd say that she's compensating for something if she wasn't female and needless to say, the details are superb all round. But being so big, special measures had to be taken to allow her to be posed with the cannon pointing straight forward. And that's where this extra stand, base and claw comes in. These are to help support the cannon. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really make for that stunning a display, but I suppose it's better than having a limp cannon. For her sword, two special hands are included with stands the wrist joint so that it won't flop around while posing her. Moving on, something that I never did expect GSC to include with this release are these two sets of specially made chains to complement Black Rock Shooter. They are black and far bigger than the ones that have been included with Figma Rider and Figma's Kagura and Yomi. I suppose you could have them draped around her, hung around her, or in the background, so on and so forth. Last but not least, two exchangeable faces are provided, a Battle Fury one and a Calm one. Another exchangeable hairpiece is also included that has her eye ablaze with a blue flame. A really well done effect if I do say so myself. Now that the figure review is out of the way, let's take a look at the free DVD that's included with the Figma figure. It's packaged in this simple paper sleeve, black rock shooter on it, original video animation, DVD, 50 minutes, continuing on with the blue checkered pattern from the Figma box. Figma action figure series, let's check it out of the paper sleeve. Now this itself is customized with the image of Figma Black Rock Shooter, the exact same image that was on the side of the box. It's a nice touch as the DVDs that came with the various magazines were also customized with different images of Black Rock Shooter and Dead Master. Since we're dealing with a DVD on Actas Reviews, it's time to bring in my portable DVD player as we check out the BRS DVD. As you can see, once it's done loading, we arrive at the main menu of the BRS DVD. There isn't anything on it other than the OVA itself, but the reason I'm talking about this, aside from the fact that it's free, it actually includes subtitles in seven different languages. Japanese, English, Chinese, Spanish, uh, Dutch, French, and Italian. How awesome is that? So, in conclusion, I can definitively say that this is THE action figure of Black Rock Shooter that fans have been waiting for. If you are a fan of Black Rock Shooter, you've probably already picked her up. However, even if you aren't that huge of a fan of Black Rock Shooter, she still is a stellar figure in her own right that is superbly detailed, phenomenally articulated, and comes with brilliant accessories. Don't forget, she even comes with a free DVD. I also recommend checking out the OVA if you haven't already done so. For what it is, I was pretty pleased with it and have already written my thoughts on it on my blog. For those who want to see it but can't get a hold of any of the free DVDs, just check out the fan subs that have already been put out by groups like Mazui and Doki. Even if you are against downloading fan subs, the original was free anyway, so hey, download away! 
lastly, I just want to say that I came to appreciate the Blackrock shooter and her design through the characters of Mato and Yomi, so I really hope that GSC does the right thing and releases figments of Mato and Yomi as well to stand by their alter egos. So, the Zekta saying, see you guys in the next episode.